Hey y'all, welcome back to the old Two Stroker YouTube channel. There's Wayne and this is some junk. We're gonna work on it today. What we're gonna do, y'all remember this gen set we found at the auction? Well, I didn't find it. One of my subscribers found it and sent it to me. And I, he knew I was an idiot dumb enough to buy it. So I did that and now it's here. We got it running, we gotta make it power. We've got to get it ready. I got a guy coming this week. We're going to sandblast that and paint it. Just a treat of a color I got for you guys. You're going to love it. And before we do that, we need to get all this off and remade because it's junk. And I can't have that. It's, it's way, way too junky. So... We're gonna try to get this box off of here today. I've gotta to get the, there's a fan up in here. We gotta get that out of there, or at least free from this unit so that we could pull that, pull that entire piece off of there. Then we'll have some other miscellaneous things to do. I wanna get a camera, inspection camera down inside the fuel tank of this, this unit, see if we're gonna end up using the fuel tank that's in there, or if we're gonna to have to go external. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, I just wanna, kind of get an idea uh, and then shoo i don't know that's i think it's going to take more than a couple minutes to do this so the dilemma i'm facing here is it looks like mm, all of those bolts that go through that are nutted and i'm not sure if they're welded i, I don't know if that thing is just going to come out of there or if it's going to be a nightmare. And if I had to guess, I would guess it's going to be a nightmare. That would be my guess. I'm looking down in here. Let's see what that fan. All right. So they are, these bolts here hold the fan in are nutted on the back side. So we've got to get a screen under this thing. It needs to not be there. Okay. One more. Maybe this will do it. Oh yeah, what a treat. So that has to get straightened out. What do we got up in here? Shit, it ain't even that scary in here. Now, when we uh, pop that panel off there, that whole that fan assembly won't be stretched out on the cord, which is what I was worried about. Got it. So our fans survived the adventure because we're smart. Hey, why? Because he's smart. Kind of. Maybe smart's a stretch, but regardless. So we've got to make this entire thing. I am not sure how we're gonna do that, fellas. It does at least look like the insulation is just held with speed nuts. So we'll have to see about getting those out. We could take this braces, these braces out of here now. But what I'm not sure of is what what do the speed knots go to? The only thing I can imagine is they go... No. I am not real sure. You can see that one blew out. Why? Let's get those 
braces out of there and go from there. Just flip this on its side and bend that panel out so this is like wedged. All right, so I'm gonna pop the rest of these off. And then I'll bring you back because that looks like where we're going with this. all off of there they are indeed welded to it all over the place so I'm not sure look how rotted that is it looks like there was a lip on this thing kind of all the way around at the bottom probably to support the the rail there so we're gonna have to remake that i think i'm just gonna take this down to broad Alban manufacturing being as it's friday and uh have them give me a quote on just remaking it from scratch and see what see what they want to do that and if it's too much money i'll uh i'll just buy the metal and do it here but <sighs> all right fellas we got our hood back from broad Alban manufacturing uh, it was just way too much money to have them fabricate it. But what I did have them do was bend the sheets. So I'll drill the holes, cut, cut the side pieces around these, and weld it all together. I uh, made it in three pieces. So that'll be pretty slick. So let's get to work.
All right, boys, we're all fully welded here. Popcorn farts and bubble gum. Check. What a friggin' sweetheart this thing is. So I transferred all my measurements, uh, holes, and cutouts. And so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it off camera, is I'm gonna drill a couple holes. I think probably the top holes, maybe just two of them. I don't know. And then I wanna just go put it on the thing and make sure that my cutouts line up. That's probably the smartest way to do that. And then I can make adjustments because you can't just put metal back. I mean, you can, but it's friggin' inconvenient. So we're going to do all that. And then I'm going to finish this out drilling and cutting. And then what we're going to do is cut every one of these off and weld it onto that on the inside there. So that way the insulation has something to stick to. And then I can reuse all that factory hardware stuff uh the only other measurements i haven't taken yet are for the fan uh the mounting bracket holes which are here and there so what i'll probably do is just measure one side this side because it's not all buckled and then just duplicate that measurement over there and that ensures it's square so yeah i'm gonna get to it and i'll bring you back in a bit All right, fellas, she's in. Bolt it up nice. All of them are in. Fits really well. I'm not mad at all. I was a little concerned about the cutouts not being deep enough, but everything really seems like it goes together real well. So pretty pumped about that. So yeah, I guess next we need to pull it back out and start cutting the I don't know what's calling the tits. I love boobies! Off of that. And then we can weld them into the other thing. I don't have a spot welder, so that's going to be questionable at best, but is what it is. We will get it.
All right, fellas. Don't look too bad. Also off camera, uh, you can't see it cause my body worked it. Just grind it out so it looks a little bit more presentable. Still got a little bit more grinding to do, but it's it's for pretty close. So that's that. I'm thinking that's good enough for who it's for. Uh, what a treat. So I think I got to get it. I think I'm going to put it on the machine tonight. Just bolt it on there and then it's done and done. And then the only other things we'll have to do is, let's see. I'm going to straighten out the screen. Let's see the screen. This freaking thing. Jeez, that wasn't too bad. All right. Well, maybe this is salvageable because I thought we were going to throw it out. I'll, uh, I'm going to have it duplicated or whatever, you know, and get new screen put in because it's got tears in it, but I think it'll, uh, it should lay up in there somehow. Boy, they did a number on this thing. She's toast. That'll go in there or something like that, man. You know what I'm saying. I'll just call the shop and have them make me a new, brand new screen. I'm sure you can order them to size. So I'll just order one of them. And I'm going to replace the one out here also. There's a screen. Screen on the actual inlet here. This is all has to be done too. Actually, i got to pull this off tonight and get in there and get a look. And see about these louvers. I might have to pull them out. <clears throat> and uh have them blasted like another time or something like that so i don't know but we're gonna see i'm not there yet we're getting there wild looking spiders on this thing oh boys it is late 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 so we got this panel off just by the grace of god it is not designed to come off separate from the rest of the oh, this thing is put together by retards we'll, we'll just say that so i got it off of there these were bent they're still kind of bent i gotta do a little bit of loving especially that one we're gonna try to flatten them out and this one's still a little tweaked i'm gonna try to elevate this a little bit on some wood and see if i can push it back square uh, and it's also broke there, but I think I'm just going to grind it and weld it in place. But so here's what I got. Uh, this thing is just god awful to work on. It is not designed to have this outer cladding removed at all. Um, and the way that this panel went in here was it's actually screwed in under the louvers. And all was well. They came, they started to come right out, no problem. And then I got to this one and that one, and the nuts were just spinning on the backside. And the reason for that is this isn't designed to be removed separate. This this wall goes in together in one piece. You assemble the wall and then put it on a thing. So I was like, all right, well, to put it back together, I'll just take the wall off, take this outer panel. So I disconnected the genset wires from here inside. And pulled the two bolts out of the bottom. Well, I wasn't thinking. All of this has got these riv nuts just on this panel. So there's no way to get that out of there without physically removing all the insulation in, on the inside. And if you can see by the way it's designed, the ceiling's got to come out first. So there's absolutely no fucking way this thing is coming apart. So, what we're going to do is just delete that and that. It's not here for that. We don't need it. It's got the two bolts up there and the two bolts down here. And that's going to have to hold it. I'll run a bead of caulk or something in here because the gasket kind of broke. But, <sighs> yeah, total nightmare. Extremely frustrating. 
<laughs> how I ended up doing this was I actually got pretty creative. I'm kind of proud of myself for thinking about it. Uh, couldn't get any tools in there, of course, because you're working around those goddamn louvers. You see the bolt holes are, are right there. They're on the inside of those louvers, so it's a total nightmare. So what I ended up having to do was uh, got the old die grinder with the burr bit, and I ground the head of that bolt off. Uh, the top one actually came out once I was able to put leverage on it. I could get it to, to come out, thankfully, because that sucked. It took like an hour just for one bolt. So it's about midnight. We got the low running, moved the truck and trailer out of the way so that I can pick this thing up and get it where it's got to go. Uh, so, yeah, we got <laughs> we got a lot of work to do yet. So the goal is to, tonight we're gonna get, I'm gonna put the insulation back in that. And you can see I moved it here just for now to get it out of my way, so I was in and out of the gen set. I'm just gonna reassemble it because it's gonna be a total nightmare to try to get that insulation into it working from up underneath. So I might as well just do that tonight. fellas that's a job well done can't even tell I was in there sick I'm not gonna worry about getting that back on right now deal with that later um, I'm gonna move on to the insulation I'm not gonna record any of that I'll uh, I'll bring it back when we're done here all right she's all built out that did suck. I'm really glad I did it now instead of then. It, it ain't perfect, but I got news for you. It's good enough for who it's for. The only thing I want to do is send the drill through these again just to make sure it's good. Then we're just going to put it on the... All right, boys. Seems to have somehow gotten heavier. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's because all the weight reduction on the old one, but this one's too damn heavy to pick up. So try to do it in stages here.
Gump, you're a genius. God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius! That rolly cart is the handiest free thing I've ever gotten in my whole life. Big ass casters on it, just rolls a tree. Wow. Friggin' sick. That looks 150 times better, boys. All right, next what we got to do is, what do we got to do next? Squirrel! Next we have to... All right, fellas. Oh, Jesus. This is all fogged up. There you go. Sorry about that. So... These friggin' bolts, I can't start even. <laughs> Dude, I, it's, it must be way too late. I'm done. Spent. I welded nuts onto the brackets so you won't have to have 18,000 hands, but <sighs> I can't get them to start. Anyway, uh, this door is totally f Well, it's not a door, but regardless. It doesn't make it less f***ed. Uh, super nice rattle to it now. You can't get any of the bolts in it without taking this entire panel off. And that's just not happening. Under no circumstances. So I'm a little concerned that it's going to rattle in operation. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's going to rattle in operation. So... I think what I'm going to do, we're just blasting tomorrow. I'm not painting tomorrow, I don't think. But I think what I'm going to do, the louvers came out good. Squirrel! Squirrel. I think what I'm going to do is uh, just send some self-tappers in. Because who cares, honestly. And that should, that should take care of it. I think it'll be all right. And then I figure I'll just caulk the seam. I knocked the gasket out of it. Because without the bolts going into it and sucking it that way, these bolt holes didn't line up. So I just, it, it's late and I'm tired. It's got to be 3.30 in the morning, guys. I'm, I'm done. So we're, uh, we're going to bed. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Uh, next episode, we will get this thing totally blasted and painted god willing and hopefully set where it's gonna set i don't know i guess we'll see how that goes but anyway we'll get it blasted thanks for joining me on the hood that come out great i'm actually really excited about that it's like usually stuff like that's way above my skill level so i'm not a sheet metal guy or a body guy or any of the above so hoodies time to see this hoodies are on the website hats are on the website check them out because they're going to be super sweet i really like them we got uh snapbacks that are red white and blue in the back the mesh and they got the old two stroker logo on the front they're super cool you guys will really dig them and i got like a battleship gray or something also uh that is a velcro in the back uh all the pictures on the website old two stroker.com check it out thanks for watching thank you to everybody who bought something it's helping uh there's this stuff is stupid money like i said i spent $850 on paint today, thousand bucks on paint, whatever it was, crazy money. And you know, we got like $600 tied up in the hood. So every little bit helps fellas. I appreciate it. We got a lot of t-shirts to sell before this project is over. So 
Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all in the next one.